five fragrances to start a fragrance collection for men. I've done one of these videos for women, now it's the turn for the men. Um, this list is meant to be kind of more on the affordable side for those getting into fragrances for the first time. So most of these are going to be under a hundred dollars, but it is kind of depend on, you know, what bottle you get, what size, so prices kind of vary. But as a whole, these are approachable, well-liked, uh, very reliable fragrances for men. Uh, and as always, all the fragrances that I mentioned will be available in the Amazon associate links down in the description below. I'm going to start with um, probably my top recommendation, just because it's really impossible to go wrong with this, uh, which is Dior Homme. Now, I'm partial to the original, but the Eau de Toilette um, is, you know, a good alternative because I don't know if they make the original anymore. Dior Homme is unbeatable. It is unparalleled, uh, mainly just because it's it is able to kind of blend this fine line between light and fresh, but then also warm and a little and, and masculine, and also long lasting. Um, it kind of does everything at once. It's all wrapped up into this perfect package, and um, it's just a simple, straightforward, no nonsense type of clone. Uh, I would say you could use it for just about any occasion, going to work, going to dinner, going to get groceries. Even if you don't leave the house, you could wear this and just enjoy it. Um, now the original, I don't believe the Eau de Toilette has this note, but the original has a note of iris. Uh, some are a little bit iffy about the iris because it is a little bit sweet. Um, some could see it as a little bit feminine, but if anything, I think it makes it more of a unisex sort of uh, fragrance. But as a whole, it's pretty masculine. Um, it's not super in your face or obnoxious or heavy. Again, it's just a well-rounded, smooth, reliable um, type of fragrance. Uh, and it does last a long time. Even though it is a little bit on the fresher, lighter side, it does last, I would say, about seven hours. Uh, good solid seven hours is what you could expect from Dior Homme. Um, and again, it's kind of a good staple, a good classic option. Um, if you just want to smell good, you don't want to, have to think about it too much, don't want to spend too much money on it, um, Dior Homme. So, moving on from this, if you want another affordable, staple, reliable option, Versace Dylan Blue, this is kind of an obvious one. Um, I think I think most people have probably tried or smelled Dylan Blue at some point. It's a, a pretty classic aromatic um, fougère type of fragrance. It's mainly kind of metallic, oceanic, some citrus, a little bit of spice. You know, very, very masculine, but again, without being obnoxious, without being really loud, really heavy, <laughs> gonna give everyone around you a headache sort of thing. So again, another really well-rounded option here. Um, this is probably one of the most popular, most favorited men's uh, clones on the market. Um, I think it's about $60, so it's definitely more affordable than some other uh, designer options. Um, it lasts a surprisingly long time, even though it's more on the lighter side. Um, this is probably about six to seven hours. It has a nice, sharp, smell to it, very clean, very fresh, especially good for hot weather. Um, but you could probably wear this all year round. It's definitely one of those super adaptable, very versatile types of fragrances. Um, so this pair, this and Dior Homme, those are kind of the ones that you cannot go wrong with it. It would be very hard to find anyone who dislikes those fragrances, um, just because they're kind of designed to be very likable uh, and all that. But Maybe this is a little too standard for you, maybe you want something a little bit different. Then, I would say uh, Terre d'Hermès, uh, Eau Givray here from Hermès, obviously. This is good if you want something really, really fresh. Um, it's kind of icy cold. Not everyone is into that level of coldness and freshness, but uh, if you are, especially for the warmer months, you know, like summer, this is the way to go, um, you know, especially because it's, it's always good to have fragrances that are good for different occasions. This is good for the hot, hot weather occasion, especially if you deal with humidity. Humidity has a tendency to just ruin fragrances, especially heavier ones. 
Um, but when you get something that is this cold and this kind of crisp and fresh, it really cuts through humidity and high heat, you know, just effortlessly. Um, and I live in Florida, so I know that for sure, that it, it just works against the humidity. But uh, as a whole, this is really good uh, if you want to smell extremely fresh. Now, downside is because it is so light and fresh, it's not going to last very long. It's going to last about four hours, but um, you could always reapply it, of course. Um, and it's just one of those, it's just good to smell. Um, it's just super pleasant, super fresh, uh, very inoffensive, um, has juniper berries uh, in it to kind of freshen it up and make it smell more natural instead of synthetic. Um, but again, if you're looking for something really fresh and cold, then this one is probably the best option. And then another one, if you're looking for something on the heavier side, then I would say Valentina Woma. This is a good kind of standard heavy evening um, sort of fragrance, although it's also good for cold weather. Has a little bit of bergamot, uh, has some leather, kind of velvety, um, has some more green notes like myrtle, but um, as a whole, this is a good standard um, evening fragrance if you're going out for dinner, going out to a club, going basically anywhere in the evening. Valentino Womo will give you, be a good choice. Um, it's long lasting, it's about eight hours, maybe seven hours, seven to eight. Um, good scent trail, good projection, um, not too expensive, and uh, it is kind of a more standard, typical uh, evening fragrance, but again, if you're just kind of getting started in the world of, of fragrances, just starting your collection, then this is just a good kind of starting point for heavier uh, fragrances. Then, one, moving on to one that I don't physically have, um, but one that I think is is kind of like the gateway clone, uh, which is Dior Sauvage. Um, now Dior Sauvage, it is kind of oversaturated, um, but it does have some good qualities to it. Um, it's, it has some similarities to Dylan Blue, but just more intense. You know, it's kind of that aromatic, um, spicy, citrusy, woodsy, very, very masculine um, type of fragrance. Now, the reason I say that Dior, Dior Sauvage is kind of like the gateway fragrance is because it will test your nose to figure out what you like and what you really do not like. Um, because some people, you know, either they really love Dior Sauvage or they can't stand it. So giving it a, you know, trying it out will definitely help you narrow down your likes and dislikes um, and all that. Now, if you do like uh, Dior Sauvage, then that's good because it's extremely long lasting. It's at least eight hours. Um, and a lot of people do really enjoy it. Um, it is kind of a, one of those good standard um, starting fragrances to kind of experiment with. And uh, there are actually several different types of Dior Homme. There's like the Elixir, the Parfum. So you could definitely do a lot of experimentation with the different um, Dior Sauvages and uh, see what's up. And then some people kind of graduate to the Bleu de Chanel or they go back and forth um, between different aromatic fragrances. Uh, but again, as a whole, uh, Dior Sauvage is a good thing to at least try. You know, you could try a sample, see what's up, that sort of thing. But that is pretty much my video here of the top five uh, men's fragrances that I think are really good to at least try uh, or add to your collection, just so you get kind of a, a the, the basics um, of what, you know, these different types of clones are all about. But that is pretty much my video. If you liked it, of course, you can leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos like this throughout the week, so stick around for those.